G'day, Paul here from The Hook and The Cook. We've had a fantastic day on the water today, Scotty and myself. And uh, Scotty's got me some absolutely beautiful uh, leather jacket here. Um, I'm just going to show you a simple method to cook these guys up. Okay, the first thing I need to do to my leather jacket is uh, just a, a tiny bit of oil on the ja leather jacket. And then I'm going to season them. A little bit of salt, both sides. Also, now, next thing I'll do is put a little bit of pepper on here as well, a bit of cracked pepper. Now, a leather jacket is probably one of the nicest tasting fish um, in the ocean, and it's very rarely used, really. Now, it's um, in Australia, it doesn't seem to be used as much as it used to be. It's a very sustainable fish. So, um, I'm going to show you a very simple dish you can do, and they're fantastic to catch with the kids as well, so in with the pan. Pan's nice and hot first of all. Just going to pan sear these whole. Now, while these guys are starting to pan sear, what I'm going to do is make my sauce. First thing I'm going to put in is my tomatoes, because they're going to take uh, longer to cook. So I'm going to make the sauce around the edge here. Maybe just put a little bit more oil just here, um, while my leather jacket are cooking. So in goes my cherry tomatoes. And these are what are going to form the base of my sauce. I want them to slowly braise down. Give them a little bit of a stir. Always good to put your cherry tomatoes in half, because sometimes if you leave them whole, they can burst. And they get really hot and they can actually uh, burn you. So it's quite important to leave the cherry tomatoes, cut them in half. Next thing I'm going to pop in there now is my onion. Not too much onion, just a little bit of onion. Checking the fish, it isn't burning. So I'm going to drop the temperature down now on my little gas cooker here, and we're going to slowly cook this fish. Because what I want to do is this tomatoes all to break down so we get all that beautiful flavour going through and the juice is running into the leather jacket. Next thing I'm going to pop in there now is our um, chilli, as you can see. Long chilies, they're not too hot. If you want to spice them up, just add some bird's eye chilies or the little red chilies, and that'll give them a bit of a zing, but I'm going to put a fair, fair amount in here. Um, basically, it's like a tomato chilli sauce that we're making. I'm going to finish it a little bit later on with some basil. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil now just to bring all the flavours together. Also, some garlic goes in. It's the time to put the garlic in. Just let it slowly braise into there. Tiny little bit of basil. I'm going to throw a little bit of extra basil in for colour later on, but I also like a little bit of flavour infusing into my dish at the moment. Okay, so that's taken around about, you know, six to seven minutes just to bring that beautiful sauce down. All them flavours are in there now. We've already seasoned our fish, so I don't need to put any more salt or pepper in there. It's time to plate. So I'm just going to add a little bit more basil, torn basil leaves. So it's just simply placing these beautiful leather jacket fillets on the plate, like so, and simply popping our sauce over the top. Make sure you get all the juice. That looks great. Absolutely beautiful. Drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. And there you have it. Well, there you go. Leather jackets, cherry tomatoes, chili, basil. Simple as that. You can't get better than that. Keep it simple and you'll never go wrong.